Taoiseach, um, the wellbeing framework rightly points to access to housing as a key component of wellbeing. Uh, for a hundred, more than a hundred residents of Tahani House, an apartment complex in Dublin 8, uh, 35 households, workers, families, many children, uh, their well-being was very seriously shattered by an eviction notice from their landlord uh, threatening the mass eviction of the entire block. Uh, shockingly, uh, this person who owns this property, the residents estimate probably making an annual income of about €700,000 a year, is trying to claim uh, financial hardship as a justification for mass eviction, uh, which is, you know, just tells you about some of the landlord class in this country. Uh, now, the residents, and I want to put it to you, Taoiseach, like we have done with St. Helens Court in Dunleary and indeed other uh, people where tenants are facing eviction through no fault of their own, are asking that the state would step in and buy that block to ensure that there is no mass eviction of these uh, tenants. Uh, and that should be a systematic policy pursued by the government, because you just cannot have this situation where again and again and again ruthless, profit-hungry landlords can threaten people just to make money uh, with mass eviction uh, into, into homelessness uh, with all the suffering and hardship and trauma that that involves. So uh, I hope you will take seriously that request. Um, Deputy Boyd Barrett raised a specific, I didn't get the name of the Tanya House Dublin. It, yeah. Um, and again, I'm not familiar with the background to that case in terms of uh, the notice that is issued to all 35 tenants. Um, again, I don't know whether you have spoken to the minister or written to the minister in respect of this. I don't know what the local authorities, don't know what the local authority view in relation to this is. Um, and I think in the first instance, the local authority has to respond if it feels it, 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 it's, it's the right approach. Um, and indeed the minister as well. Um, and, um, you know, there's various frameworks there to try and get issues like this resolved. Um, and I don't know what the situation is in respect of the owner of this. don't know the background at all in respect of it, but I will raise it with the Minister.